getting ready to plot your cabin project uh, align all of the views I've got my plan building section two elevations so I need to add my interior elevation of the kitchen area uh, it's listed under elevations interior as soon as you can create one they show up so I just expand that and I'm going to drag this onto the page <coughs> and put it down in this corner I've set them all to eighth inch equals a foot you can see as I pull the drawing in that it tries to look for relationships for layout and this looks perfect where it is it's horizontally in line with the building section and vertically in line with the spot elevations um, what I would like to do now is f to make sure that it's where I want it to be do you see here how the s text of the west elevation is in line with the building I moved that title to put it there Revit doesn't do that for me. So if I just click on the title, I can move it independent of the drawing. And I'm going to line up the E in elevation with the edge of the drawing. And while I've got that highlighted, uh, I like it without the line in between. So I've got the title highlighted. I just go up to the drop down and say title only. Dr drops the line. And now uh, I'm done. I've got my layout. Now if I drag this view, uh, the title comes with it so again now once you've got your title placed accurately then you can rely on Revit's uh, alignment uh, dash line so I've got it left to right and waiting for oh, there it is right there and so there is no excuse for a improperly laid out drawing once you have that we can plot this we're gonna print it as a PDF file and then submit it onto Brightspace so file print <coughs> and I'm going to put it to PDF. I'm not sure which PDF you use in the lab. I think it's the Microsoft PDF Creator. Yeah, mine, mine is this one, but I think it's the Microsoft PDF Creator. I'll double check that for you. So we choose the PDF printer. Um, we're going to uh, print page one here, so I'm going to go down to selected sheets. I don't like to print the current window method. I, I might as well get used to doing it as if it was a set of drawings. So when we go into select views or sheets, it lists all of the views that you have and then later on all of the sheets that were created. And you can see they match the sheets over here and the views up here. So I've got one checked off already and it's my drafting uh, 111 project sheet number one. That's the one we're on. So I have that check mark set say OK. Now before I go ahead and print that, I want to check my setup. I want to make sure that I'm in control of the scale of this setup. I said these drawings are at eighth of an inch equals a foot, therefore I need to print this drawing to scale. So I go into my setup. Uh, this is wrong. I've got it as letter size. I know I, I've designed this title block for 11 by 17, so I set that. Uh, whether you offset or center, uh, if you have a very specific way you want to lay out your, pay, your drawing on the page you could set your own offset but I prefer just centering it and now this is a big mistake that most people make if you don't check your setup it will just scale this to fit on the page and put in some artificial margin and so your drawing will not be to scale very important thing to check we want to set the zoom it's kind of misleading until you click the zoom button you don't see what scale you're zooming so we put it to 100 percent its size that means that it will print exactly the way we intended and therefore the individual drawings will be at the scale that they're said to be at landscape orientation everything's good oh it jumped to offset for some reason when i went to zoom i'm going to go back to center so double check all your criteria zoom 100 percent center landscape 11 by 17 it's all good uh, I don't know if you want if you're doing this often you can save it as a session uh, it'll just prompt you for a name and a whatever then you can choose that for another session so I've got this all ready to go now and uh, we're gonna create separate files it's a single file anyway and that's it ready to go